WordPress is continually under development. Gutenberg has brought forward so many new terms and features, and keeping up with all upgrades and modifications can sometimes feel confusing. But we are here to help you get familiar with all innovations and where WordPress is going. Today, we're going to clarify some of the types of reusable content you can create with WordPress, and we will focus on template parts, regular patterns, and sync patterns, and when it makes sense to use certain types in different situations to help guide you to make the best choices possible. We will also shed light on the key differences and similarities. If you've just stumbled across this video, I'd like to share that it's a part of a series of lessons and workshops about blog themes and site editor. My name is Valerie, and you're watching the Motopress YouTube channel. So, without further delay, let's get started. In WordPress, patterns, templates, and template parts, all these features can be used together to create a cohesive and consistent design for your WordPress website. And this was the first common feature between these reusable content types. All reusable content types that we will cover today will work together to create the final production of your site. But now let's make sure we're on the same page. Let's consider in more detail such a term as patterns, especially since WordPress 6.3. WordPress 6.3 is striking for many reasons, and one being that the reusable blocks and block patterns features are merged into one feature called patterns. The idea behind it is that reusable blocks and block patterns are similar enough to decide whether a pattern is reusable at the editing level, instead of determining upfront whether or not you need a reusable block or a block pattern, we create a pattern and specify whether to sync your patterns so that one change applies to all parts of your site or to keep them unsynced so you can customize each instance. So, basically, we're going to compare and take a more detailed look at three types of reusable content, namely synced and non-synced patterns and template parts. What's more, we have two tutorials on our channel related to patterns and template parts, so I strongly recommend watching both of them before this video. If you haven't checked them out yet, uh, please do so. The link to these videos will be in the description box below. You can find the existing patterns and template parts for your theme under Appearance, Editor, and click on Patterns in the left Design panel. All of them are in one interface. Patterns and template parts are made of blocks. The same as pages or posts, they are both arrangements of blocks and at the same time, the way to manage blocks. And this is the second thing in common. Template parts represent global components of your site, like headers and footers. They can be created and edited within templates. And um, similar to sync patterns, any changes you make to template parts will apply across all templates that are using those template parts. This provides both convenience and flexibility. And when you want every page or post throughout your site to display the same header or footer or sidebar, Simply make sure that you're using the same template part on all templates. It saves from having to make numerous updates in various locations. From this, we can conclude that template parts are reusable, sync patterns of blocks, 
that represent global components of your site. So, template parts and synced patterns have one more common feature. Now let's talk about differences. Every page or post within your website has the same basic structure. There is a header area, a content area, and a footer area. You can make it look different on every given page or post, but the core elements will be still the same. Template parts cannot be used inside a content area. They are only available for templates in the template editor and in the site editor, which cannot be said about patterns. Patterns are available in the block editor when editing a page or post, as well as site editor. Patterns can be a part of a template, template part, or even nested inside other patterns. So, you can use patterns for a content area as well as to build a template or template part. In other words, you can also use patterns to build templates and template parts, but you should not use a template part inside a pattern. Patterns can be imported and exported. Template parts don't have such an option. Template parts won't transfer when you switch themes, but there is a great workaround, don't worry. If you create template parts that you then want to keep after switching themes, uh, you'll want to convert them into a pattern, and after switching themes, uh, you will then be able to access these patterns. As a visual aid, I want to show you a table comparing these different options to each other. Template parts belong to the site structure. This is a header, footer, and sidebar. As I've already mentioned, this means template parts are not a part of your content like a post or page. Patterns in their turn refer to content. Patterns are perfect for CTAs or style sections of content uh, you plan to use repeatedly in different places. Examples of patterns also include testimonials, uh, calls to action galleries, hero sections, featured post sections, um, three columns sections, uh, forum sections, or team member sections, uh, so on and so forth. So this could be everything connected with how to get in touch with your business. Uh, to your social media accounts. So you can customize patterns on the fly and they can be as simple or elaborate as you want. Syncing ability touches on whether if you update it in one spot, it updates everywhere, the same block is used. It follows that it's best to use template parts and sync patterns for things you want to have in sync with each other, whereas regular patterns are best for content that you expect to change across your site. Now it's high time to talk about possible use cases. When we talk about repeated structure across your site, like header or footer, it's best to use a template part. It carries semantic meaning and help you create areas that won't need to be frequently updated, but are outside the scope of content like posts and pages. To avoid having to add the same content to a paragraph blog every time you want to place it at the end of your post, you can make it a synced pattern. Or let's say you run a promotional company across your site, but later you'd like to substitute those blurbs for whatever the next promotional focus includes. This is where sync patterns can spare you editing by hand each instance. When it's more about repeating a design or layout, uh, Non-sync patterns are best to use. This is because the content doesn't need to be synced and instead you want to repeat 
how something visually looks, including styling choices. You can insert these predefined blocks into posts and pages and then swap out the images, text, or other assets with your own ones. This is an incredible time-saving opportunity to help you establish the layout of a site. This lesson covered a great amount of information on the various components you'll encounter while building your site. And to make a long story short, in modern WordPress, you now have more choices for how to create and edit content throughout your site using WordPress blocks. Patterns and template parts are all ways to manage blocks and create consistent design elements across your site. Sync patterns help you keep content in sync throughout your site, and non-sync patterns help you apply the same layout in various regions. Template parts help you create areas that won't need to be frequently updated, but are outside the scope of content like uh, posts and pages. So hope this tutorial helped you. And if you still have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like tutorials like this, subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.